Michael B is the leader that we need for Nigeria, but not the politician that we need for us. But Peter does not buy votes. Mm-hmm. In Lagos State, when you were seeing people marching on October 1st, going everywhere, Peter did not send money for that. Mm. For the election itself, he sent money for logistics, food for the polling unit agents and everything. That money was stuck in the bank till Tuesday after the election. So he won Lagos State without buying votes. There's one man that determines who the governor of Lagos is in APC. Mm-hmm. And that is Bola Ahmed Tinubu. I don't know why we are shying away from this. Fashola was his former SA Ambody that was yeah. working with him. Like, like, an accountant or yes, something. Yes, and then you have Sonulu that was also working. My father tells me that my grandfather told him how Nigeria was better in his time. Mm. My father told me how Nigeria was better in his time. Mm. Now, I can clearly remember converting one million to buy four thousand pounds. I can tell my children now that I remember a time that Nigeria was better. I was at MIT when Obasio was president. As soon as I finished, I came back. Hmm. All my friends at Harvard came back. We felt that if we did not come back, we're missing out on a new Nigeria, Hmm. on so much opportunity. There are people I will tell this to. I might tell you this now, and you cannot imagine the idea that people are running back to Nigeria as opposed to the other way around. But there was a time where that was the case because there was hope. From free education. They had jobs when they came out of school. Hmm. They could get loans to buy cars. My grandfather, eh, his driver's child, was in the same school as his son. Mm Mm-hmm. And the school fee was barely anything. So that driver could drive Mm -hmm. and not be worrying about paying school fees Mm -hmm. for his child. And the quality of the education. And the quality of the education, which most of the political elite are beneficiaries of. Free. Free.